Hi friends. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to see how to create a donut chart. It is called as donut chart now. We can say also it is a circular chart, pie chart. As you see here, we can uh, create easily in Adobe XD. Uh, it was a la- few weeks back. I got a question like this, how to create a pie chart in XD for infographics page. In infographics page, this is very important design, I mean important matter uh, in infographics. So we will see how to create this uh, like this pie chart or donut chart or circular chart. Donut chart is a new name, <laughs> even I came to know now only because in that question it was like that. Donut chart, I thought who is going to create a donut and donut things. Yeah, so it is donut chart now. So okay, we'll take XD here. I already have created a artboard and uh, in that I have written like weekly report. Just uh, not to put it as an empty page. Okay. For uh, creating a circular chart like this, we have to first uh, choose a, rec- uh, a circle. I think oh, I hope you all know where this uh, circle and where this uh, stroke um, appear I mean appearance panel is in XD if you are not aware you just go through the panels here here and all you will understand what all things are there in the XD panels this is for the beginners okay I, I told this for beginners okay so we are choosing this uh, circle and we are drawing a circle here okay we have drawn a circle here let's center this i i hope you all know how to center there is an alignment option here either you can just uh, drag this uh, circle it will automatically show the I'll, I'll i'll show you just drag this see it will automatically show whether it is in center or not otherwise you can go to alignment section and align the circle okay so uh, just uh, drag a little bit okay just uh, decrease the size I, I think size is too high, uh, too big okay here we have created a circle now we are switching off fill the fill is off and border size you can give any border size uh, but it should not be very bigger okay because it we are giving stroke stroke uh, with I mean stroke weightage we are giving around 40 okay and yeah and uh, dash uh, will give around 430 here okay in uh, appearance panel 430 first uh, switch off fill then I let the border switch on and size 40 or uh, whatever size uh, size you are choosing you can give also like 20 you can also give 20 i'm just giving here 40 if you are changing the size you have to adjust the dash and gap according to that i'm just giving 40 here okay and the dash around uh, 430 and the gap around thousand one zero 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 yeah thousand now we have given dash and gap see we have got a half circle here so it is a it is similar like this okay we have got one circle for our donut chart or circular chart pie chart anything <laughs> okay so we have given this one we we'll change the color okay let's see red is not good mm. okay let me see um, we'll give e6 one double eight seven let's see okay this color is good okay we have given the color and here if you look into this uh, edges it is too sharp Sometimes you will not need ed- sharp edges. For that, go to appearance panel here. 
yeah just follow my mouse okay I, i always tell in my video because for beginners it will be very difficult to find where these all are so just follow my mouse here just uh, go to uh, appearance here you will see in appearance panel cap option round cap option just click it. now i just turned into circular i mean round cap okay now we have created one circle just to duplicate it for duplicate duplicate it press control d or in in mac command d control plus d in windows command plus d in mac just duplicating it see i have duplicated okay just press control plus d in windows in mac press control i i mean command plus d i hope you didn't get confused okay so i have duplicated one more and uh, let's change the color um we'll choose uh, okay let pick the eye dropper and choose this color okay, okay. this color is good and let uh, rotate this one see it is becoming a circular chart donut chart by chart whatever it is it is uh, becoming okay we have put this one here and again duplicate this command t in mac control d in windows control plus d in windows command plus d in mac okay so we have duplicate another one change this uh, color i'm just changing the color for your understanding mm, no this is not good color let try code itself mm, as um yeah for f3 b a 39 i think it will be yellow yeah so we got that color and just rotate it see we have created a pie chart okay this is a uh, easiest process for creating a chart and uh, for uh, like you can create a circle here like you can create a circle here if you want so you can show it as a progress of dot overall progress of uh, overall progress here like 95 percentage 10 percentage and all just giving a drop shadow option okay just giving okay just make it into this and increase so uh, then okay just increase the opacity uh, this all you can experiment that's why i am not explaining this is a self experience uh, thing so we have created a circle here you can experiment uh, with the drop shadow changing background uh, i mean border and all you can experiment it is very easy process so just giving like 90 90 percentage here just give where is my percentage uh, yeah i got it okay i just give 90 percentage here and uh, just align this okay okay aligned so it is uh, like 90 percentage and like uh, draw some circle here pick a color pick this color just switch off the border and uh, just put this one here and we can like give like a um, photoshop ps and decrease the size around of 12 oh my god it's 30 yeah you can give any size just for your understanding i am just giving this one here make it okay just copy this paste this copy copy okay so we have created one minute i'll just arrange this one 
can keep it here or keep it here itself it's according to you it's according to your design and just keep it in, uh, keep it here i just I'll just keep it here okay okay change the color change the color and here we'll see, we'll give a and here we'll give premier pro pre <laughs> okay so we have done the pie chart it is very easy process i hope you all understood this if you um, okay once again i will tell uh, just uh, for just for your understanding just draw a circle switch off the fill in uh, in appearance balance bal appearance panel you can see the fill option switch off the fill and uh, give the stroke size so like you can give any size so i'm just giving like 30 here and increase the dash like around 430 or uh, like whatever whatever dash you uh, dash you want number you want can give but uh, it should not be like around 200 and all if you give 200 or i will show you how it will be see this will happen so try to say uh, if you work on this one you will understand okay just try to do one then you will understand it is a very very easy process just giving the gap like thousand so we have created this is a process and uh, then just uh, press control d to duplicate this uh, circle and change the color to this one and just uh, rotate this one you have got i think you have got the point this is very very easy process if you don't understand please comment below i will personally reply you okay this is a normally uh, this is a way normally this pie charts are created for infographics pages especially and you can bring out uh, like a uh, different different styles for this like i will show you i just selecting this one and giving this size into like uh, 60 so it will be projected outside and if you are giving like a uh, for this if you are giving like around 80 size it will be like a, see you can show it like this if you want it it depends on your ideation process and all even you can split this into two different shades of color like what we see here green light green that all you can do very easily I just go through this one this is a uh, this is a ideation um for this is idea for creating pie chart i hope you all understood thank you